Well, welcome to New Mexico Renaissance Celtic Festival's uh, live stream uh, interview with Rose Fenton uh, of Fenton Pottery. And I think they're out, you're out of uh, Hemma Springs, Hemma Springs, yes. New Mexico. And um, uh, we uh, thank you guys for joining in. It's uh, one of our uh, actual first interviews. We'll be recording this as well. Um, and doing this live and also recording so we can put this on our YouTube channel. Um, excuse my mask, it keeps falling down. It's a little funny. But um, we're uh, trying to be COVID uh, conscious. Uh, of course, I've already tested, so I'm mm -hmm. negative. Are you? No, well, we can take our mask off. We're six feet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we're distanced from each other, that's a good thing. Yes. <clears throat> um, well, let me introduce uh, Rose Fenton. Hi. <laughs> so, Rose, um, uh, give us a little story about who you are. Um, I'm Rose Fenton. I am from, my family's from the Hamas area. They actually settled the area. My father's family, um, they, my great-grandfather donated the property for Fenton Lake. <gasps> no kidding. <laughs> yes. I love Fenton Lake. Like, is that why you mentioned Fenton Lake? Oh, well, no. Just because it's a nice area. I love <laughs> it being is up there. Area. My favorite memory is from <clears throat> when I was real small, walking through the forest, smelling the pine trees, going to the camp, and smelling the fresh coffee and the bacon cookies. Mm. I love yeah. that place. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So if you've ever been to Fenton Lake, uh, we used to go there as kids, and uh, my dad, we do uh, trout fishing. And there's a creek that come, feeds into Fenton Lake, mm -hmm. and always at that uh, that creek at the beginning of Fenton Lake is where we caught all our most of our best fish. Yeah, our best trout was right there because they loved swimming right when all that whatever was coming down from the mountains yeah. would come right into that uh, that lake. And uh, hadn't been up. Well, honestly, I went up there about was it three years ago, and wow. I guess it was turning because it was all green and. It does that. Yeah. So, but uh, there was still trout in there. <clears throat> yes. um, so how long have you been doing uh, pottery? I've been doing pottery for about five years now. Um, I just started the business last year, but I've always liked playing in the mud when I was a kid. Yeah. And I don't think I ever got over that. <laughs> have you ever gone out and just picked up your own clay? I have um, some clay on my property, and I haven't processed it yet but i i want to it's it's a little bit different than the commercial grade right so it's a different heat and temperature that you got to work with is that kind of what the native americans used to use i think they still do because there's, i know there's the hemis pueblo which is not far from you and they have those red mm -hmm. uh, the red rocks the red rocks and that red dirt i wonder if that is that the, a clay that the, the possible use of the clay or, I or is there so. something you have to add to it no, I think there's a process that you do. If you want to fire it and use it for um, for eating, then mm -hmm. I would think you would have to add to it. Okay. But if it's just for decoration, no. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, so, what's the first item that you ever sold? I sold a wall cross um, similar to this one. Did you that? It, oh, wow. That's beautiful. Can you guys see that? This is a wall cross. And that's got a tree of life in. This in one has print. the tree of life in in embossed in it, I think. Imprinted. Imprinted. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. So that was the the first item that you ever sold was something like this, huh? Yes. There you go. Yes. Awesome. <clears throat> um. Now, are you online with your craft business, or do you just do craft shows? I am online. I have a Facebook page, which is more current than the website. The website is getting worked on. So if you want to contact me for anything, Facebook is probably the best way. And what's the uh, what's your Facebook page? Fenton Pottery. Fenton Pottery. Look up for Fenton Pottery. We'll uh, throw the, uh, the link in here in the comment section uh, later on and also on our YouTube channel we'll put the uh, the actual uh, link on our YouTube channel as well below the uh, in the 
comments section. <clears throat> um, what if uh, someone wanted a, a complete dinner set? You know, what if something like, you know, I was thinking, because a lot of people have, um, you know, this china that comes from, from generation to generation to generation. And you uh, create food grade um, cups. Let, show them some of your cups. I mean, these are some mu beautiful mugs. I, I don't know if you can actually see it from there. And we'll probably get some closer pictures for our YouTube channel. But these uh, these are like soup mugs and coffee mugs and whatever they want to use. And you them can for. use it for whatever. <laughs> Hot it's, chocolate it's coffee. Huge, um, <laughs> and it's decently weighed too. I mean, it's not too heavy, and it's actually pretty nice. Um, but the thing is, is what? How would they contact you? Let's say you they wanted a, a complete dinner set. You know, uh, plates, um, uh, saucers, and cups, and. Something that it would be all look this similar, not maybe the exact same, because well, your yeah. work's a lot different. Pottery's than, different. It, it's I mean, almost each piece is unique. Looks like that china. It's all unique. I mean, not not every piece of that china is exactly the same right. either. Right. And that's where you can tell quality china from, you know, manufactured china. Right. Uh, it comes from a mold. I mean, yeah, it comes from a mold. The design is stamped, and where this is actually handcrafted. And it takes a long time to handcraft. How long does it usually take? It like, depends. These little things. whiskey uh, glasses, which I got two of them here recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does it take to make something like this? It takes, a, well, you have to get the clay. Um, you have to throw the glass. And then there's the drying time, which can take, depending on the humidity level, um, up to a week. And then it gets fired once for the bisque fire, gets glazed, and then fired again for the glazed fire. So it could take up to two weeks. Two weeks? Wow. Two weeks for a piece. And, and this is, and these, these sell... Those are $10, the whiskey glasses. These are $10, and it takes two weeks to make something like this. So that's a very well-spent $10 for something like this that you can probably have forever. Um, for a while. Yeah. At least. Well, until you break unless it. You're, unless you're Greek. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <Huzzah! laughs> Whoops. Yeah. So they can contact you through the Facebook page? Through Facebook Messenger is probably the easiest way, fastest. Easiest and quickest way. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. What drives you in your craft? And why do you do it? I just like the smell of the clay. Really? The I, smell? I do, because um, it's like fresh rain. Whenever I open a clay, a bag of clay for the first time, and I like the way it feels in my hands. Um, and it's nice to just create something out of nothing. Right. Yeah. And they also, um, this one here is a salt pig, or it could be whatever you want, but I have a paw print on it because I also train service dogs. Oh. For disabled veterans and first responders for free. So did you guys get that? <laughs> she not only has her own pottery business, but she also trains service pets, service dogs, service dogs for first respond disabled first responders and disabled veterans. Wow, wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Do you ever take um, donations? Has I mean, do you ever get donations um, to help take care of that, to do that? Because you do it for free, right? I do it for free. I did get one donation, <clears throat> um, but I'm not a non-profit, yeah. so it's, a lot of people don't because of that. Well, but, you know, that, I think, is something that, um, it, it is changing, though. A lot of people give because of their heart and not because mm -hmm. of their pocketbook. Right. They don't give because they want a tax deduction. They give because it's a good cause. Mm -hmm. You know, and training service dogs, you know, for um, uh, for first responders that are injured and, and, and disabled or and then veterans, you know, um, and in doing it for free, you don't have to be a nonprofit to do it. But, yeah. you know, does someone really, if they want to send you $50 or a couple, you know, a, a, a how about a card to Petco or something uh, like that, yeah, you know? This yeah. way you could go and buy dog food or 
you know, whatever things that you might need for the for the animal. Um, yeah, so hey, you know, that's something that you might want to think about to uh, help her out too with the uh, some donations for her, um, what she does for those pets and for those veterans and stuff. Uh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Wow. See? <laughs> There's heroes everywhere. We got one right here in our own studio. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how can a viewer support your business? Um, well, if there's anything they want to purchase or would like me to have them or would like me to make for them, they can contact me via Facebook. That's still the fastest way. So on your Facebook, do you have images of what you currently have in stock? I, like the stuff that you have here. I have some images. I do not have... I'm trying to get it organized, so not quite yet. Okay. <laughs> well, some, there are some things, though. So we're going to go over some of the things that she brought with her that uh, she wanted to kind of show. Uh, and let's start off with this big piece of uh, solid slab of uh, clay. <laughs> what is that? This is a pizza stone. And these are actually guaranteed for life. If it ever breaks, I will replace it for free. And it comes with a scraper, a wooden scraper. So this is a pizza stone that she makes. And you said it's guaranteed? Yeah, guaranteed for life. If it ever breaks, I will replace it. Wow, isn't there a company in this country that does this? Same thing, but it's so hard to get to them. <laughs> These to take a long them? time to dry. These do. They take six to eight weeks. Okay. So if you're thinking about Christmas presents, let me know now. <laughs> oh, yeah, Christmas, yes. And birthday gifts and stuff. And this is oh, what? Yeah. It's a scraper, so like if the cheese gets on there, because you don't wash these. Right. You don't put soap on them because it will ruin them because the clay will absorb Absorbs. that flavor. Oh. And that's why you don't wash pizza stones. So when you um, sell something like this, do you have like a little informational mm -hmm. thing that tells them yep. how to... The care. The care for the it? The care information oh, wow. comes with the stone. She even has a little signature back here, <laughs> which is cool. And it's, so each one comes with a scraper as well? Mm -hmm. That's a neat little scraper. I don't know if you can see that from there. I tried to find a company in the U.S. that made them, but they come from Europe. So she makes those. <laughs> now, they can ask for any kind of size? No. Or do you just want to keep it to a certain size? The size is between 14 and 16 inches. Okay, so 14 to 16 inch. Um, stone. Stone. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you already saw her coffee mugs. Whiskey glasses. <laughs> um, then the. Uh, what's this it? can be for spices or anything. Really. It's a nice. It has a nice little lid on it. Mm -hmm. It's finished all the way inside. Yeah. It's on there really nice too. It's not like all rattling and stuff. You know how some get in there and they make them real too small and they just rattle everywhere. This is kind of nice and sturdy. On the little paw print. <laughs> so this would be for sale right now. Mm -hmm. If someone wanted to buy something like this, how how much are you selling this for? Fifteen. Fifteen? How about twenty dollars? Give her twenty dollars. <laughs> it's worth it. It's a one of a kind. Because the next one she makes is gonna be a totally unique one itself. Right. So if you like the paw print, go to Fenton uh Pottery uh, uh, Facebook page and let her know. And then something back here is kind of interesting. It's just a unique piece. Just a bowl. <laughs> this is a... Look at the design on the color. Isn't that beautiful? Now, for me, I would go, ding. That's what my brother said. A little stick too. <laughs> but this, you know, this could be used for many things. You can put your uh, candies in here, uh, make it a candy tray. Mm -hmm. um, so what made you decide to make something like this? Just the well, you like that flute? Well, I have ideas, uh -huh. and sometimes the clay has different ideas. Oh. So you just gotta go with what the clay does. Okay. <laughs> so is this something that you would normally have at the at a festival? Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you guys all saw her wall cross earlier. Mm -hmm. Want to pull that? 
So these wall crosses are available. Uh, do you have more than just like this one here? Or? I do. I have, I think I have at least 10 ready for sale. So these right wall now. crosses. They come in different colors. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wall crosses. Yeah, we're also recording for the YouTube channel as well. So, um, but uh, gosh, wish you could see that design. Ooh, that camera's not very good on there, but how about that? Yeah, that one actually. You'll see it better in the other show. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much are something like that? These are sixteen. Sixteen dollars only. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah. She also makes these cute little um, wine glass. Now, I thought they were earrings because they're. <laughs> they look like the earrings to me, but these actually are pretty cool. Tell tell them about that. Let me go get a wine glass. I want these are wine glass charms, and they're. For your wine glasses, um, hence the name, so you guys can keep track of it if you're ever at a party. Oops. Um, <laughs> I had a runaway over here. Uh oh. And and well, you see, they didn't break. <laughs> They're sturdy. <laughs> so if you have a little too much wine and drop the wine glass charm. So can we put one charm on this? Yeah. All right, there you go. Here's your wine glass charm. And all the hot air balloon ones come with their own little launch director. Oh really? With the launch director? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so they, they come like a set? Mm -hmm. I sell them six in a set. Okay, six in a set. And how much is a set? Um, they're 42. 42 for a yeah, set? Because awesome. that's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, they're tinier. Yes. You know? And then she also has some ones for Celtic. Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, these ones are really nice. Um, they have the uh, Celtic crosses, the Celtic uh, knots. knots, and the, uh, the shamrock. With shamrock. The More shamrocks. Different colors. So all you ladies that have those... Uh, Little parties that you, uh, you know, are Celtic themed or Scottish themed or Renaissance themed and stuff like that. You can actually use these because they're glasses, so everybody knows whose glass is whose. Especially now and during COVID, you don't want anybody sharing a sharing a glass. Right. Um, and I also have some that are flowers. There's a sunflower. Wow. I've got different flowers that I use also. So what we're going to do later on is we're going to take some pictures of these and uh, after our interview and stuff and then put these on our show um, at uh, it's NM Ren Celtic Festival uh, YouTube channel. Um, and you'll get to see more of the interview uh, if you missed this part. And I do want to thank you guys for coming in and checking it out. She's got a couple of things One here. That, oh, she's got a lot of great things. These are Christmas ornaments. So you can just hang them from your tree or send them to family members. So since we didn't get our balloon fiesta, um, and you got to get your balloon fix, <laughs> uh, contact Fenton Pottery on uh, Facebook and let them know. Uh, let her know that you want a... Uh, an ornament for your tree. Um, I'm sure that she. Um, I've got some ready now. I can make some. So they can see what they what you have. Some, if they just message you, you can send them back pictures of what you have and mm -hmm. so. Okay, excellent. <coughs> Let's see here. I was going to ask you um, about this last question. Uh, do you have a take advantage of right now, like a limited end of this weekend or something? Oh, something by the end of the month? If they order by before the end of September, they'll be 15% off. So there you go. Because of this interview, Fenton 
uh, pottery will have a 15% off. You got to mention the, the interview, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, to get to the 15% off on whatever you do purchase from her. So, uh, and that's ends at the end of this month in September. So, you got a little bit of time, but you better get busy if you want to order something that uh, she may have to make. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if it's for the holidays and she doesn't uh -huh. have it in stock, something that you can't buy in stock, you want them to, you want her to make it. Um, let me know now. Uh, let her know now. <laughs> and uh, like I said, look in the comment section later on, and we'll have uh, the uh, Facebook page link, and then look for our YouTube channel uh, interview that will uh, be posted by Friday. Uh, with all the graphics and pictures of everything that she brought in today. Okay, great. Thank Rose, you. thank you very much. Thank this you. was fun, actually. Mm -hmm. I, this is our first interview uh, in a series of interviews that we want to do for our Renaissance uh, Festival. Because mm -hmm. our Renaissance Festival was canceled. Thank you for doing this. And, um, you know, we kind of felt bad because everybody's, you know, having all these events canceled everywhere because yeah. of this COVID-19 thing. And... Uh, now there are some events popping up mm -hmm. in other other states, of course, uh, but not New Mexico. And then I just watched the news this morning, and I'm sure everybody else was aware that uh, the uh, at the Balloon Fiesta Field in October, later October, they're going to have a concert, drive-in concert, uh -uh. To, for up to a thousand cars that can park. Well, yeah, it is a big and thing. And you pay for the car, you pay for your tickets. And you park your car and you listen to the concert, and the concert could be way over there on the stage and stuff. Uh, but that's that's a new type of event. That um, yeah. I mean, that's a concert, so it's a little bit different than a festival. Oh, um, so hit the farmers markets. Uh, there are some crafters out there. There's crafters out there in Hanna Springs. Uh, on Saturday mornings, they have a maker's they, craft show or something? No, they do the farmer's market. They do a farmer's market? Mm -hmm. On Saturday from 9 to 11. Do you ever do that yourself? No, not yet. No. I think I'm going to start um, <clears throat> canning some prickly pear jelly here pretty soon. Ooh, and pear. once I have that, I will be at the market. Awesome. So check out Fenton uh, Pottery on Facebook. And... Uh, Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks.